Everyone gather around. Gather around. Come in as close as you can because we're hoping for this to be a kind of discussion. In fact, ideally, if you could sit down, that would be perfect. Can I get further down. around so I can video? There's no microphone. There's no microphone. So we're hoping to have two guests today from Athens. I'm going to introduce you to our first guest. This is Costas. This is Costas. Thank you. This is Costas. This is Costas. Mic check. Mic check. Thank you. This is Costas. This is Costas. Costas is a historian of the Greek labor movement. Costas is a historian of the Greek labor movement. And the Greek American labor movement. And the Greek American labor union. And he's going to be speaking to us today. He's going to be speaking to us today about the experience at the Greek syntagma. Police repression. Police repression. And similarities between this movement and the one in Athens. And the similarities between this movement and the one in Athens. And our second guest has just arrived. The second guest has just arrived. I'd like to introduce you to. I'd like to introduce you to. Stathis. Stathis. Gorgoras. Gorgoras. Stathis Gorgoras. Stathis Gorgoras. Stathis is a professor of comparative literature at Columbia University. Stathis is a professor of comparative literature at Columbia University. That's right. And he'll be speaking to us today about radical democracy. Speaking to us today about radical, radical democracy. democracy. And, uh, and we're going to begin now. Okay, thank you all. Thank you all. It's a fantastic thing that you have here. Let's get the people's mic. People's mic. Uh, first of all, I uh, have a statement that I will not read from uh, more than 250 professors at Columbia University. We're going to have to speak in small segments and we're going to have to repeat it. Right. So you can tell them actually that uh, this is just the statement of Columbia University professors and I'm just going to give it to you. Okay. So, more than 250 professors at Columbia University. More than 250 professors at Columbia University. Have drafted a statement. Have drafted a statement in support of Occupy Wall Street. In support of Occupy Wall Street. Uh, since ancient Athens, since ancient Athens, democracy is as much a space of free speech. Is as, as much a space of free speech, fearless speech, fearless speech, and as as it is a space of listening, and as it is a space of listening, free and alert listening to each other, free and alert listening to each other. This is what I'm here to do. Listen to you. This, this is, is what, what I'm, I'm here, here to, to do. do. Listen to you. The eyes of the world are now all over this square. The eyes of the world are all over this square. It really matters to everyone in the world to see Americans out in the streets protesting a global system of injustice. It really matters for everyone in the world to see the Americans out in the streets protesting global injustice. This is just a start. The point is to occupy as many public spaces as possible. This is just the start. The point is to occupy as many public spaces as possible. Democracy is more than the ballot box. It's first about public assembly. It's first about public assembly. Where everything is debated. Where everything is debated. Questioned. Questioned. And discussed freely. 
and discuss freely and without fear. And without fear. In all assembly movements in the world so far, in all assembly movements in the world so far, the police has responded with brutal repression. The police has responded with brutal repression. In all cases, in all cases, this is because the stakes are very high. This is because the stakes are very high. The power of the people, as you know, is in numbers. The power of the people, as you know, is in numbers. Mass assembly movements, mass assembly movements, terrify those who hide in offices. Terrify those who hide in offices. 99% have more power than 1%. 99% have more power than 1%. If they act together. If they act together. Democracy is about self-authorizing collective action. Democracy is about self-authorizing collective action. They call you leaderless and you are. They call you leaderless and you are. They call you directionless and you're not. They call you directionless and you're not. This is because a mass assembly movement. This is because a mass assembly movement changes the rules of the game. Changes the rules of the game. Not just the game of politics. Not just the game of politics. I mean simply government politics. I mean simply government politics. But the whole process of being a citizen. But the whole process of being a citizen. It's all about relearning to be a citizen. It's all about relearning to be a citizen. And I know, and I know that there's great education going on here. That there's great, great education going on here. Self-education. Self-education. Collective self-education. Collective self-education. This is what happened in Athens in the summer. This, this is what happened in Athens in the summer. In the beginning, just young people in the beginning, just young people, as it should be, as it should be, came first, came first, and drew out the rest of society. The rest of society. That society that was willing to relearn to be a citizen. That society that was willing to relearn to be a citizen. This is really what I want to underline. This is really what I want to underline. Self-authorization. Self-authorization. Self-education. Self-education. Self-government. Self-government. We're not against government. We are in favor of self-government. We're not against government. We're in favor of self-government. And the government of this country and the, and the government, government of this country, country, but not just this country, but not just this country, is taking away power of governing from all of us. Is taking away the power of governing from all of us. That's all I want to say. I will respond to questions. That's all I want to say. I will respond to questions. Thank you. Or my fellow, my my colleague. Okay, we're going to take the next speaker, and then after that, we'll take questions. This is Kostis. I bring here the voice of Athens. I bring here the voice of Athens. The voice of a city. The voice of a city. That for two months now. That for two months now. Has seen massive demonstrations. Has seen massive demonstrations. For the right of the people. For the right of the people. To live free. To live free. Develop themselves. Develop themselves. 
and fight the austerity measures of the government. And fight the austerity measures of the government. Today in the newspaper, Today in the newspaper, I read that President Obama expressed his sympathy for the movement. I read that President Obama expressed his sympathy for the movement. And I thought, does this sound familiar? And I thought, does this sound familiar? And it is familiar. And it is familiar. Because back in June, because back in June, when Greeks occupied the public sphere, when Greeks occupied the public sphere, the government initially proclaimed to be supporting this movement. The government initially proclaimed to be supporting this movement. And then you, the whole world has seen what, ha what happened. And the whole world has seen what happened. Are you going to repeat the mistakes I'm doing? <laughs> so, actually, in no less than two weeks, no less than two weeks, police brutality was the answer of the government. Police brutality was the answer of the government. Oh no! <laughs> it happened though. <laughs> every day, every day, we met police forces. We met police forces that used tear gas. That used tear gas. In order to break up the demonstration. In order to break up the demonstration. This was the way to deny the right of the people to gather, assembly, and discuss. This is deny the right. Deny the right of the people to gather, assemble, and discuss. And then, if you saw the news the other day, two days ago, if you saw the news two days ago, police used tear gas even in the subway stations. Police use tear gas even in the subway stations. Democracy is taking a beating in Greece. Democracy is taking a beating in Greece. And what is happening now in the parliament and in the streets? And what is happening now in the parliament and in the streets? Is an example where what the response can be. Is an example of what the response can be. The response from the side of the government the response from the side of the government and the response of the people that gather in assembly. And the response of the people that gather in assembly. Well, actually, well, actually, well, actually <laughs> what's, what is now the main development? What is now the main development? Is that we see that democracy is not to be taken for granted. That is not to be taken for granted. <laughs> One more point. One more point. Back in the 60s. Back in the 60s. In my country, where I come from, Greece. In my country, where I come from, Greece. Oh, I got my English. <laughs> government used police, used the army to suppress the movement. Government used the army to suppress the movement. Now they have new weapons. Now they have new weapons. Mass media, corporate industries, and the police. Mass media, corporate industry, and the police. This means this means that we should get wiser. That we should, should get wiser and understand and understand that this fight will be prolonged, protracted, and it will be victorious in just one day. This fight will be prolonged, protracted, and it will be won in just one day. Today, if you go to Sindama Square, today if you go to Sindama Square. You won't see somebody sleeping there. You won't see somebody sleeping there. But you will see thousands of strikers demonstrating the streets of Athens. You will see thousands of strikers demonstrating the streets of Athens. That is the main challenge for the movement. That is the main challenge for the movement. To transform this kind of action. To transform this kind of action. In the everyday life of the people. In the everyday life of the people. In the unions. In the unions. In the communities. In the communities. In the universities. In the universities. There is the battle to be fought. There is the battle to be fought. And in the, in the meantime. And in the meantime. We should always think. We should always think. Or always remember. Or always remember. That there is an ultimate goal. There is an ultimate goal. And in this this will be a long journey. And this will be a long journey. But even the big the longest march or the longest journey starts with a small step. But even the longest march, the longest journey starts with a small step. And now this is the first step. And now this is the first step. 
of a movement that can transform, and a movement that can transform, and overthrow, and overthrow a system that is not working. A system that is not working. Yeah.